During the endgame of Avatar The Last Airbender, Aang goes missing and the gang decides to find Uncle Iroh as a backup in case Aang keeps acting up. Sorry, I mean, doesn't reappear to fight Lord Ozai to defeat the Fire Nation. Zuko is hesitant to see his uncle as the last time they talked, Zuko turned his back on all of the amazing lessons his uncle had been trying to impart and let him go to jail so that he could return to the Fire Nation and get a girlfriend. Zuko knows what must be done though. He needs to own up to his mistakes. By this time, he has learned from them. He had abandoned the Fire Nation and taught the Avatar firebending to defeat his dad. But there's still the part where before this, he turned his back on his uncle who had gently guided him for over a year and had him sent to jail. Zuko takes a deep breath and enters Iroh's tent. He waits for him to wake up and he knows that Iroh knows he's there. He doesn't mince words. He doesn't beat around the bush. He immediately says, Uncle. I know you must have mixed feelings about seeing me. But I want you to know, I am so, so sorry, Uncle. I am so sorry and ashamed of what I did. I don't know how I can ever make it up to you, but I- It's an emotional scene and is the true culmination of Zuko's journey from arch nemesis of the Avatar to a true protagonist. The important thing here isn't that these two people who you end up rooting for get back together again. Although that is part of it, this moment is so impactful as this is the exact moment that Zuko truly becomes a man. The important thing he did here is taking full responsibility for his actions. If Zuko wasn't willing to take responsibility, he could have blamed his dad for traumatizing him. He could say his uncle didn't guide him well enough. He could have said that growing up in the Fire Nation, he had all this propaganda driving him back to it. Oh, sorry, wrong propaganda. He could have said he had all this propaganda driving him back to it. He could have said that he just wanted to see his father again, so he knew who the real enemy was, like it was all some sort of long game. He could have said all this, and there is in fact an argument that could be made, but he didn't do that. He finally understands the correct direction for him to go, and he understands the mistakes that he made in veering off course. He puts all the blame on himself, and takes full responsibility for everything that happened. Just that you do the right thing, says Marcus Aurelius. The rest doesn't matter. This is the right thing. Taking responsibility is one of the hallmarks of a true adult. Until Zuko is ready to accept this path and take responsibility for the mistakes that he made, he was not a real man. Not everything was his fault. He did grow up with brainwashing. He did get horribly disfigured by his father. But the truth is, he knew what the right path was, and he didn't take it. He didn't take the path Destiny had laid out for him, and he instead chose a selfish way betraying his uncle and letting himself down in the process. The important part about this error though is that he realizes that it was his fault and he owns up to it. In Stoicism, they talk about how our decisions made of free will are actually accounted for already by the universe. They fit into the greater whole. One of the benefits of Zuko's mistake made in free will is the depth of his shame. Now that Zuko can see the true harm that he caused, it's guaranteed that from now on, he can never be pulled away from the true path again. He understands that now and has committed himself to doing the right thing, even if his uncle never accepted him back. This is the power of deep lessons. Someone else may just have a surface level understanding of this lesson, but not Zuko. This willingness to accept responsibility is what makes him worthy of the title of Fire Lord. His willingness to accept responsibility made him a man and is one of the key things that are required for a true adult. If you like this video, kindly like the video and subscribe to support the channel. Talk soon.